What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my Uncharted 2 Among Thieves Let's Play of the Nathan Drake Collection. I'm your host, Mike of Jadon Achievement, and today we're going to continue on with my Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection Let's Play, and that being Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Of course, I am doing a complete Let's Play of the Nathan Drake Collection, which I started with with Uncharted Drake's Fortune that I finished yesterday on Twitch and I finished uploading today, earlier today and today we'll be beginning and starting off with Uncharted 2 Among Thieves so without further ado, let's start a new game of course I'm gonna be doing this on hard difficulty for the first time for you guys watching on YouTube and then if you want to see Crushing and Brutal, don't forget to follow me on Twitch because once I finish Uncharted 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, and 3 on hard difficulty, then on Twitch exclusively, I will be starting with Crushing and Brutal difficulty. So don't forget to follow me on Twitch so you guys can check out my Crushing and Brutal difficulty Let's Plays on Twitch. But for now, we're going to start with hard. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, just gotta create a new save data and and as always during cutscenes I will be quiet. Okay then, let's start with chapter 1, a, hard, a rock in a hard place, so then, all we have to do now is climb up the train, we do not know what has happened yet, at least I know what happened, I don't know about you guys, as far as I've heard, 80% of PS4 users have never played Uncharted, so maybe you're a new viewer here, who knows, of course I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys. So just follow, smack that follow, smack that follow button so you don't miss out on my live stream and you'll find out what happens, what happened at the beginning of Uncharted 2, why we are in a train and why this train is hanging off a cliff. So just smack that subscribe button over on YouTube and of course that follow button over on Twitch so you don't miss out on my Uncharted 2 Drake. Not Drake's fortune among thieves. Let's play. And it's already starting off good for Drake. Come on. Okay. Now we're inside of the train. Let's see. You gotta jump over there, I think. Yep. Oh, Drake, what happened to you? What just happened? What kind of mess did you get yourself into? Well, I already know what, but of course I don't want to spoil it for you guys, so... I'm just gonna act like I haven't played this game yet before. And of course, on my first playthrough, I am going to try and find as many treasures as I can. But of course... Once I start crushing and brutal then I'll start collecting all of the treasures and unlocking all of the trophies and all that good stuff. 
because I want to get the platinum trophy in this game and of course in the first and third game also Ah, oh, come on okay get up there good job Drake next thing's gonna happen is well nothing's gonna happen right now just gotta get out of the train now run Drake run come on Drake run Bam! We made it! Yahoo! Not good, not good at all. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out for no, a second. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great... Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. I don't know. Someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate of the, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the sight of the Lost Fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong?
Well, Drake, I could tell you what could possibly go wrong. This, for example. I don't know what went wrong, but something definitely went wrong here. And we got a treasure, our first treasure, bam. And we already got a trophy, how about that? Yep, I'm gonna try and get the platinum in this game. And of course, the first two, I mean the first one and the third one. Didn't quite get the trophies in the original PS3 versions. Just because I didn't... I have never beaten these games on brutal difficulty, no crushing difficulty. That's why... But I'm gonna try and do it this time. Each time I tried to uh, beat them on crushing difficulty, something always got in my way. If it were school or a new game, something always got in my way, but this time I hope nothing gets in my way. But of course a new game will get in my way because it's October and a lot of games are coming out now. Just this week alone we got the release of the Witcher 3 expansion pack. Which I will be doing a let's play of. And then we got Halo 5, Assassin's Creed, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Fallout 4. Ah, a lot. Bam. But of course, I'm gonna try and beat all three of them before the release of Halo 5. I have to try and do that. And then. Uh, of course, start Halo 5. And then Halo 5, I'm gonna try and beat that before the release of Rise of the Tomb Raider. What the hell? Karma's a bitch. Yes, it is. Because I am going to try. I don't know yet if I'm gonna be doing a Fallout 4 Let's Play on YouTube. I'm definitely gonna live stream that. But I do not know yet if I'm gonna do a U complete Let's Play on YouTube. I might just do a few let's plays of the first few hours, I would say. I don't know yet. But I'm definitely gonna live stream that game. Oh yeah, Star Wars Battlefront. Don't know how that's gonna be. The beta is okay so far. It could be better, of course, but who knows how it's gonna be. If I'm not mistaken, there should be another treasure around here somewhere. Yep. Should be another one back here, I think. Bam, got ya. See, I'm already collecting as many treasures as I can. Haha. <laughs> okay, this chapter should be over real soon once I get out of this train. I think. I don't know. Just gotta wide out. Yep. That has to hurt. Come on, Drake, get up. Get up, Drake. Or not. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. 
I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <clears throat> Trust me. Okay, Nate finally woke up, and now we can continue on. Okay, I think I have to go this way, right? Yep. Good job, Nate. Okay, I think I have to go this way, right? Yep. I don't think there's any treasure around here anymore. I mean, back there on the other side of the rail. I don't know, but I think... There should be one back here, right? I think so. Yep. I can see it right here. Bam! Got it. Beginner fortune hunter. Okay, looks like I only get a trophy for each. For every 10 treasures that I find. So, 5 more and we get a new trophy, bros. Oh, shit. That has to hurt. Okay, let's see if there's something back here, but I don't think there is. Nope. That means we can move on and... I think the chapter is about to end. <laughs> 